Uh, hi, I'm Sofian from France and I'm a first year student from the Modern Japanese Studies program at Hokkaido University. Uh, so, uh, a typical day would be uh, waking up around 6.30, uh, eating breakfast and going to university uh, around 8 and then uh, I would have class for about uh, 5 hours and uh, then study for a couple of hours and probably then and hang out with friends. Hokkaido University's campus is uh, really nice. There's a lot of nature on campus. Uh, the summer is actually really nice because um, there's all, all this nature everywhere and all those trees and all those locals and tourists walking around campus so you don't actually feel like you're um, that you're in prison in this like study space. You're actually in a really nice uh, green area with all these people walking their dog. I think that's a really good atmosphere to, to study. It's really relaxed and, and um, it just makes you want to be productive and have a great day and not just stay locked up inside and, and depressed. Hokkaido University was one of the uh, former seven imperial, imperial universities of Japan and uh, before that it was the Agricultural College of Sapporo and uh, this building just behind me was uh, a building that was used for the lectures on uh, forestry and so this is one of the oldest buildings of the university. So entering Hokkaido University is not the easiest task. Uh, you have a lot of paperwork uh, to do, a lot of doc documents to gather and you have to write for uh, essays. Um, I had to write essays on my strengths and weaknesses, uh, academically speaking, um, writing about why I thought the program was uh, going to help me uh, for my future, um, what kind of extracurricular activities I was doing that showed my, uh, that showed that I was the right person to get on the program and uh, other topics like that. Um, another advice that I would give to people uh, expecting to come to, univer to Hokkaido University is um, be prepared to read a lot and um, we're expected to produce a lot of academic work and uh, use a lot of references so we actually have readings every week for a lot of classes and it's actually better if you do uh, personal readings to show the professors that you actually are willing to commit yourself to what you're doing rather than just using uh, the regular readings that they're giving you. So yeah, reading a lot on the program is actually like a, a great uh, thing that you can do. So on MJSP, we have uh, half our classes in English, half our classes in Japanese. Um, basically, the point is that when you get here, you have more classes in English because your, Jap your level of Japanese uh, is not that high, but as, as you go on with the degree, then you uh, slowly switch your English classes for Japanese classes. Uh, which makes it really great because uh, you get to meet a lot of uh, Japanese people but also a lot of people from all around the world uh, because all of the, Jap uh, all of the English classes are based uh, for all the international students so each semester you're gonna meet a whole lot of different people from different countries and uh, there are always a lot of events uh, to share your culture um, with uh, with, with all these other ex international students. Um, what I really like about living in Sapporo is that first, uh, the, price, the, the cost of living is really cheap, so you can get a really great place for a really small amount of money. Um, second, uh, we have a really beautiful campus here uh, in Hokkaido University, so uh, even if you're not a student in, of Hokkaido University, you can come and just like chill here for the day and enjoy the nature of the university. And as a student, when you live around campus, it's really, really calm and uh, mostly because the fun places of Sapporo are uh, in downtown Sapporo in the area of Suskino. And um, so if you want to have uh, fun with your friends, you're going to go to Suskino to, like, to go to a bar and get drinking or uh, go to karaoke. And uh, having this, this university space and uh, downtown space really distinct makes it really uh, agreeable to live uh, in Sapporo. Uh, another thing that I really like about about the city is that uh, people in Sapporo are actually really, really nice. Um, they, when 
if, even if they don't know you and they know that you're a foreigner that you might not uh, understand uh, what they say um, they're going to come out of their way to try to help you if you see that uh, if they see that you're lost and uh, trying to uh, really be uh, the nicest people as possible and we have a beautiful winter where we have a lot of snow so it's actually really nice for people who want to go um, skiing or snowboarding uh, here in the summer it actually doesn't get uh, too hot and too humid uh, compared to the rest of Japan so it makes it, it makes it really special having uh, a long uh, winter and a really cool summer We are um, in Mambu, uh, a restaurant near Hokkaido University, uh, which serves uh, a lot of Japanese traditional food, especially uh, katsudon, uh, which is uh, fried uh, chicken or pork uh, served with rice and uh, cabbage. And um, this is a very special place for uh, university students because um, you can get uh, a lot for really cheap. And there's also an option that's uh, uh, for all you can eat karage, which is uh, uh, small pieces of fried chicken, and um, so for really really cheap you can get uh, all you can eat karage, all you can eat rice, and all you can eat uh, cabbage, and uh, it's a place that is really um, popular again uh, amongst uh, Hokkaido University students, and especially for uh, the clubs and circle when they start recruiting people and they drag them here and uh, and they offer them food for the occasion. Right. So we have this um, vending machines, we can call them that, uh, where uh, you have uh, all the menu and you choose uh, what you want to eat and um, you uh, press all the buttons and decide the drinks, uh, the meal and everything. And then you put the money and that's where you do uh, the, where you pay for your meal. And then you go and sit back to your table and give them the, the little receipt coupon that you've had from this and then they cook your food. My last advice would be uh, to be open-minded. Um, Japan has a really different culture from other places uh, all around the world. And uh, especially if you're coming from Europe or America, the culture is going to be so different that sometimes you're going to think, uh, why are these people doing this or this makes no sense. But um, you really have to think that this is a really a great opportunity that you have uh, to study in Japan and to like, meet this new culture that's going to uh, give you so much in your life. And not only Japanese people, but um, you're going to be surrounded by all these international students inside the program or just other exchange students and there are going to be times where you're going to think as well, yeah, why are these people doing this? But just uh, remember that uh, this is a really great opportunity to uh, broaden your perspective and so yeah, my one biggest advice would be stay open-minded and understanding towards other people. If you enjoyed watching this video and want to know more about universities around the world, please like and subscribe.